This is Will Lindsay Otta, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I'm absolutely thrilled to be speaking with an incredible artist. His name, Jake Brewer. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek at Jake's incredible talent with his original song and the music video for it, Soaring. I'm so stoked to be chatting with you. You seem like the coolest person ever. And we've talked oh for maybe 20 seconds. Well, like you're so sweet and you got the Venmo from me to, to <laughs> have you say that. Yep. But that check cleared and so I'm ready to go. Yep. Jake, you're very sweet. Well, listen, you're an incredible talent. I love that we are both on the Isle of Manhattan. And I want to know first and foremost, so Jake, because the audience just got a little sneak peek of your incredible talent with the music video for your song, Soaring. How did the idea of both the song and then also the music video come about for you? Yeah, it's it's a really it's a really cool story, actually, because I always say when I perform this song live, I always introduce it as like, I have beef with this song because... I originally never really wanted to release it. I I wrote it and um, just like I do with every, every other song that I write and I share with the producer and I kind of let her comb through and kind of see like what really stands out. And I threw this one into the mix and I wrote it like really late at night years ago when I was just feeling like really, really like lonely and betrayed. And it was this God awful, like depressing song. And I just don't feel like it was my personality at all. And But she listened to it and she was like, this is such a hopeful song. Um, and I was like, I don't think it's hopeful. I think it's really sad. But she picked out these certain lyrics that really kind of implied that you wanted to move beyond that despair or, or that whatever that feeling was. Um, and so I kind of gave her the green light to, to roll with it. And then about a month later, she sent me a new mix of the song that had this sort of like light and... Um, airy and natural sound to it and I kind of fell back in love with the song and it's such a strange um process because it was the first time I felt like I was hearing my own song for the first time like I had written it but like I'd never heard it before um which was such a cool feeling as an artist to have another artist really kind of create something new out of your art amazing Jake well also speaking of great were you just at the Grammy Awards I was. So talk to me about that I experience. Was. You manifesting on that red carpet like you belong, which you do. Talk to me about oh. that experience and doing that step and repeat. 
It was um, it was really overwhelming, actually, to say to say the least. I felt like I had won a cereal box contest or something like that because I was like, there is no way, like somebody made a mistake letting me be here right now. But yeah, I've I'd never been to Las Vegas before. I felt like a fish out of water, but it was it was amazing to like be in a room with that many like incredible artists and like watch performances like that back to back. Like there's no other like dream lineup for me. Um, and I was sitting there the whole time and it's fun. Like everybody's dressed up and um, I was like astronomically younger than like everybody there, <laughs> at least in the section that I was in. And so people kept leaning over and they're like, can I just ask like, who are you? And I was like, that is a phenomenal question. Cause I had, I had no idea what I was, what I was doing. I was so tired at the end of it though. Cause like, it was so stressful. Cause you never know. Like, I don't think I was ever on camera, which is probably a good thing, but you're like so nervous. It's like, okay, like BTS is performing. And I'm like, if I don't like make the most, like I'm loving this face right now. And like, and that goes and some picture of my face comes out during that performance. Like every BTS fan is going to like hate yeah, me. And I'm like, you're going to become, gonna be a, meme. You're gonna become yeah. a meme that'll just end your career it's done before like it even really starts. I can't, so Jake, I was, well, listen, I mean, I so you, you need to get used to it, my friend, and being in those rooms. You are an incredible talent. And I want to also know what's happening on April the 29th. Mm, you know, it's not like I like, you know, spent two years of my life writing an album and decided to release it on April 29th. No, we actually just finished it yesterday. So, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah. talk to me, talk to me in the audience a little bit about what the, what we can all expect. You can expect to get to know me a lot better than you probably ever wanted to. There are some songs on this album that I had written versions of years ago that I just never really felt like I was ready to have that part of myself out there. Um, and I think there's just this terrifying fear that like people in my life are going to know, like, hey I know this song was was about me or like this sort of thing but like as an artist like you can't ever hold back from those things and I just got to the point where I was like this is the best songwriting I've ever done like I don't want to like deprive myself of the pride of sharing that with the world and so um there's some songs in there that I'm really really nervous um to be out there but I think that's a good sign that you made a good project well yeah and I think it also shows that you are obviously vulnerable and I think within that vulnerability as you know that's how much that's when you become that much more relatable. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It documents what I think your early 20s feel like so vividly and so transparently that it might be disgusting to some people. No, it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, I will probably be disgusted because that was 500 years ago for me. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Jake Brewer, it is so nice to meet you. Listen, I'm so excited you're coming on board this incredible new social media app, Phoenix 360. But also, I'm very excited that we are now connected, my friend. So nice yeah. to meet you. So nice to meet you, too. Thank you so much.